Hey, what's up guys, Sir Amanon here, and welcome to round one of LCS number nine. This is going to be the start of the feature matches for this LCS this weekend. And what I'm going to be doing is for Swiss, or at least for day one, I'm going to be doing kind of a post dual commentary style where I have both players' hands open, so you guys can go ahead and see. It makes things easier on my end since I'm trying to sort of uh, spectate multiple matches at once and then do everything in post. Uh, that makes things a lot easier. And then for day two, I'm going to do a live commentary style of video where I'm pretty much just going to be spectating uh, games as they play out. And it'll be a lot easier to find like the good quality matches since obviously those are going to be the players who are doing the best. So uh, naturally, I feel like this is going to be a pretty good format. But we're going to be featuring here Cody Angeloff on Evil Twin Eldritch versus Walter Jewel on uh, It's the Pile deck, aka Buster Blader Dogmatica Eldritch. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started here. Uh, let's see. Looks like just getting started here. All right. Looks like uh, Walter is going to win the RPS here. There is some heavy lag. Let's see if I can fix that real fast. All right. So for Walter's hand, it's going to be uh, Golden Lord, Golden Land Forever, Ice Dragon's Prison, Dynamiscus, and Punishment. Pretty interesting to see this make the main deck. Um, I guess it is very searchable, and you are playing 60, so like you don't want to draw it. Although he did manage to draw it here. Um, but yeah, no access to the uh, Buster Blader stuff. I'm kind of assuming he's on the Buster Blader stuff. Uh, granted, I haven't like watched this match in full detail, so I'm not sure 100%. But when I see 60 cards and I see um, you know, Dogmatica and Eldritch together, I assume that there's Buster Blader stuff in here. This hand is not great though. It's okay, but it's very slow. And then uh, Cody's hand is Golden Lord, uh, Ash, Conquistador, Scarlet, and Kizikil. So in case you guys are unfamiliar with the uh, Evil Twin archetype, Basically, they revolve around two monsters, Kizikil and Lilla, and they kind of play off of each other, where uh, the live twins basically get to summon the other ones from deck, and then uh, they get to go into their link monsters of the same name and then bring each other back, uh, and they gain bonus effects such as drawing cards and popping cards, uh, and you'll see that as we get into it. But Walter's going first, he's going to go ahead and set three and just pass, and then Cody draws an Ice Dragon's Prison of his own. It's very interesting, they're both playing like very similar cards. But he's going to go ahead and start out by normal summoning Kissicle. That's going to go ahead and summon out Lilla from deck. And then Lilla, like th these trigger if you control no other monsters, but they work on uh, both normal or special summon. Um, they also have a quick play that tutors these out. Uh, but yeah, this allows you to just go for free link plays. So he's going to go ahead and make uh, Evil Twin Kissicle. Uh, this requires at least uh, one Kissicle monster. And if it's card is special summon, while you control a Lilla monster, you can draw one. And then during the main phase, if you don't control Lilla, you can special summon one from your graveyard. And then it uh, locks you into Fiends from the extra deck. Both of them lock you into Fiends, I do believe. But yeah, he's going to go ahead and use that effect that's going to bring back the Lilla. And then he's going to then go for an Evil Twin Lilla. That's going to then go ahead and bring back the Link monster, Kissikill, so he can draw one. So you can see the basic concept, right, is like they can tag out into each other and then they get bonus effects. He could have done this the other way too if he wanted to. Like he could have summoned Lilla first um, because he had both of these, so he could choose which one. And then use that to bring back the uh, live twin kiss a kill and then link it to this one. And then bring the evil twin back and then pop a card. So you, there's multiple ways that you can go about doing this. But he's going to trigger the uh, evil twin kiss a kill that's going to draw a card. Drawing Spagolmeister is very good in this matchup. Very interesting to see in the main deck as well. Uh, but it's going to be very nice against this matchup. This is probably a call against uh, Drytron and Eldritch builds. Um, this is under the new ban list in case you guys are wondering. So uh, definitely a read on the metagame there is required. So he's going to just go into battle phase and hit for 22 here. And Walter has no response to this. Uh, these are Cybers's and the links are fiends. So it'll be interesting to see when he chooses to go Ice Dragon's Prison. He could have done it on the uh, the Evil Twin Lilla effect to go ahead and just banish both of these, and that wouldn't have been too bad. Uh, he's gonna use Golden Lord in main phase two, sending away a Conquistador that's gonna set uh, or target this set, which turns out to be a punishment. That's gonna target the uh, Evil Twin Lilla and then put into the graveyard a Titanoclad, but Cody has multiple answers to that. So it's unlikely to resolve. Uh, main phase 2, still he's going to go ahead and set the Scarlet, and then send it away for Golden Lord. Is he going to summon it? Yes he is. Uh, these only lock you from the uh, extra deck for Fiends, not the main deck, so you can still summon the zombie. Their quick play spell do though does lock you into um, Evil Twins, I think, 
or fiends. I can't remember, but their their quick play spell does have a restriction. Uh, hopefully, it does come up. I'm not a hundred percent certain on that because these cards are still very new. But end phase, we're gonna go ahead and see Conquistador and Scarlet. That's gonna set Scarlet and Conquistador, and he also set Ice Dragon's Prison, and he's just going to pass. And then Titanoclad is going to be met with the Skullmeister. And then for turn, we're going to see uh, Walter draw another copy of Ice Dragon's Prison. That's not very good here. Uh, actually, these guys are talking in chat, so I probably should have uh, left the chat open, but um, hopefully that's not too big of an intrusion. Um, but we're going to see not really too many plays because the Dogmatica engine's now completely cut off. So Walter is going to be playing from the back foot here for sure. He's going to just set Ice Dragon's Prison and pass, not even going to bother to use Golden Lord, which I guess is fair. He's going to use Evil Twin, Kiss a Kill, uh, and the end of main phase, because this is a quick effect actually, so you can summon back the Alilla. Very interesting, he's still not choosing to use this Ice Dragon's Prison. Uh, he had a couple opportunities to use it, but now uh, Cody's just getting a lot of free value. Uh, he's going to use the Alilla effect to pop the new set. And then in end phase, he's going to activate Scarlet. That's going to go ahead and summon another Lord. So for turn, Cody draws a Solemn Strike. Very interesting in the main deck. So he has a lot of damage. This is actually game if he just attacks. Um, provided no interruption, which there obviously is. So we'll see. Uh, interestingly, Skullmeister is a Fiend. So he could actually Ice Dragon's Prison that to get rid of one of these. But yeah, this is looking pretty good for Cody. Let's see, main phase is going to link away for a Nightmare Phoenix. It's cool that these point sideways because you can do some very cool Nightmare plays. But he's going to link away the Kiss a Kill and the Golden Lord to summon uh, Phoenix. Going to use Phoenix to pitch strike. That's going to head and hit. Uh, we didn't see what was targeted, but Ice Dragon's Prison is going to be chained. That's going to target Golden Lord. Uh, that's quite strong. Very, very strong. So holding that ended up being uh, pretty decent. Although you could argue that if he used this immediately, then he wouldn't have gotten the second Lilla to proc in his second Ice Dragon. So there's arguments to be made either way. He's going to Conquistador in response. And then Walter is going to chain Dynamiscus, targeting the Conquistador. So he's going to go ahead and pitch his own Lord. And then both of Cody's Lords are going to get banished. So that was quite a lot of value here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cody did not draw off the Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, he definitely could have, right? Unless if I'm missing something, but I'm fairly certain he could have just drawn off this. Uh, but Lula now going to... Oh, he said in chat he forgot to draw. <laughs> but yeah, he's going to go ahead and summon back his to kill off the Lula. And this will allow him to draw off the Lula. So he could have, like, another card. Oh, well, it turns out that my card might have been useful because uh, Double Ash is not great. But he's in such a commanding spot. Doesn't really have to worry too much because he still have his or has uh, his Scarlet to be able to set Conquistador. So he has some of his Eldritch. Uh, a lot of it got removed there from the Dynamiscus and the Ice Dragon's Prison, but he's still in a pretty decent spot. Let's see what he goes for here. He's gonna enter battle phase and attack for what is this? Twenty two plus nineteen is forty one, I believe. Puts him down to seventeen. And then main phase 2, we're going to see him link away for Unchained Abomination. There we go. Yeah, this card is really good with this deck. Um, so it's just super free. And it works if you're able to keep Kiss a Kill here, because if you bring back Lilla, you get to pop another card off Abomination. So like this card is really synergistic. Um, very, very easy to make. And you can see the game plan, right? Is like As long as he's able to keep one of the Evil Twins, he can always summon back the other one and then use the first one for uh, Link plays. As you saw with like the Phoenix, and then he was able to bring back the Kiss a Kill, and then link away the Lilith for the Abomination. So you guys can see the general concept of this deck. Uh, it basically just tries to loop all of these every single turn and get continual advantage. Uh, the fact that these are quick effects is really, really nice. It's just an advantage generation deck, and I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I saw Tristan Bridges play this deck quite a bit, uh, so I asked him a couple questions too. So I have a better understanding of how this deck functions. But yeah, he's going to go ahead and then use the Scarlet in the end phase that's going to set a copy of Wakero. And then pass turn. For turn, Walter draws a Skill Drain. Oh, not going to be super useful here. 
I hope he is playing Buster Blade stuff because otherwise I'll look like a fool. <laughs> but we did see Dogmatica Eldritch and it's 60 cards. I think there's Buster Blade stuff, but we can't be certain until we actually see those cards, right? But Cody is going to go ahead and take game number one here. If you guys are enjoying this commentary, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more LCS content. There's going to be a lot of it all throughout this weekend and there will be a lot of videos out on the channel today. So be on the lookout for that. But moving into game number two here, we're going to see Walter go first. And uh, his opener contains Golden Lore, Conquistador, Ice Dragon's Prison, Storm Duster, and Didi Crow. Very interesting side in the Storm Duster. I wonder if he's expecting a lot of control matchups in lieu of just Link Cross being banned. Uh, very much uh, could be a possibility. Uh, but yeah, this card, I really do like this card in general just because it is a plus one. But I mean, his deck's already slow enough as is, so I guess he can afford to play a little bit slower of a game here. Um, again, the hand's not looking too good though. He just doesn't have engines. And then Cody's hand is Cosmic Cyclone, uh, Lilla, Live Twin, Live Twin Lilla. It's so weird because like both the Link monsters and the, uh, the main deck monsters share the same name. It's just that the main deck monsters are Live Twins and the, uh, the extra deck ones are Evil Twins. So it's like, I'm not really sure what to call them by except by they're just their full name because it's hard to distinguish them otherwise, but um, that's a side tangent. Uh, Skullmeister, Ash, and Kakisador. So... This hand is good enough because you have a starter in your uh, engine. That's really cool is that like, you just get free um, ways to start. Like it's six starters basically. Um, plus you have the quick play which is nine. And you can like pitch, or pitch Eldritch cards which is cool. But um, yeah I think Cody's hand is very very good here. It's not like ideal but it's good. Main phase one, Walter's just going to set two and pass. Uh, for Terran, Cody draws another Lilla. That's not very good. We already had one. Uh, he's going to go ahead and normal summon the Lilla and then use his effect to grab a live twin Kissikill. And then use those to link summon an evil twin Lilla. So this is what uh, he could have done the last game where he'll plan on bringing this one back eventually. And then using that to pop a card. So evil twin Lilla is going to go ahead and target. Looks like DD Crow is going to be used in response to hit the live twin Kissikill. Pretty interesting. Uh, I personally probably would have held this for the Eldritch engine. Because you know that he's probably going to cycle back into another Kissikill. Well, that's assuming he um, is familiar with the deck. But um, he's going to go into another Kissikill here, like an Evil Twin Kissikill, and try and bring back the Lilith to pop a card. Like, that's why he went this route, is at least what I'm assuming. So if you Ice Dragon's Prison, get rid of both of them, then you can just save this and not have to waste an additional card. I mean, this also cuts off the Lilith engine, or like the Evil Twin engine just in general, because uh, now he just is never able to tag back into this. So I guess that's fair. But, I mean, it would have been the same uh, result, I think, regardless. But he's going to go into battle phase and hit for 1100 here. And then set Ice Dragons, or sorry, uh, set Conquistador and pass. Uh, for turn, we're going to see Walter draw another Ice Dragon's Wild. He's drawn four of these in two games in 60 cards. That's kind of remarkable. But yeah, that card is stuck to his hand. Going to use Golden Lord effect that's going to send away the back row. Cody's going to let it go, of course. And then he's going to send away Storm Duster to trigger the Golden Lord. That's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, Cody was considering using Meister on that, but he's letting it go. Uh, I think that's smart, because these only trigger the main deck ones if you don't control any other monsters. So he wants this to die, actually. Because right now he doesn't have any uh, Kissikills to bring back off of this. So like this isn't really doing anything right now. So yeah, definitely you want this to just leave. And uh, you see the Kisador, so you can just Meister that. And that's fine. Uh, oops. So yeah, Lord going to be summoned. And then we're going to see Battle Phase attack into Lilla, that's going to be 24. Yeah. Main Phase 2 and then End Phase. I'm going to go ahead and banish the Conquistador. I think you just Meister this. Because um, even though it's getting a Scarlet, which is Redundant Axis, uh, you're just cutting them off of their traps is like really strong here. All right, so he's going to Meister that and then draw for turn. He draws a Waikero, that's pretty good. He forgot to trigger Conquistador actually in the End Phase. Um, so yeah, he could be actually a little bit further ahead. Than he is, but not too big of a deal. He's gonna use Cosmic Cyclone on the Ice Dragon's Prison. He's gonna chain the Ice Dragon's Prison. What's he gonna summon? He's gonna summon back the Evil Twin Lilla. Uh, that's fair, but I mean, it's it's just a blocker at this point. Uh, now we can just go normal summon Lilla and then do the whole entire play. This is brought back by its own effect, so Lilla can't pop it. He might just go for Kiss a Kill first and then try and draw a card. Uh, that's what I would probably personally do. A uh, Lilith summon out Kiss-A-Kill. And then he's going to go for uh, Evil Twin Kiss-A-Kill. 
yeah, this is what I figured would happen. He's going to bring back the live twin Lilla, and then go for uh, evil twin Lilla, and then go for this to draw a card. Super strong. Super strong that's all off one card. I like that a lot. Uh, okay, so he draws a quick play. We can read this real fast. Discard one card, special summon a kiss to kill monster or a little monster from your deck. Also, for the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monster with the extra deck except evil twin monsters. Okay, so that's the restriction. All right, it's not fiends. Um, or, yeah, it's just evil twins with the extra. Got it, okay. So, yeah, and you can only activate uh, one per turn. So he's gonna go ahead and go for Unchain Abomination. Like it's so cool that this is a fiend. Like it just works so well. Uh, it does what you want to do. It's legal to summon because it gets past the restrictions. Uh, it's a super super solid. Uh, battle phase. He's gonna go for an attack, and that's gonna deal 1900. Um, I mean, this could trigger, but I mean, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, gonna set walk arrow and uh, the home, and then end phase. He's gonna keep the door for Scarlet. And pass turn. Return Walter draws another Storm Duster. Jeez, he's just drawing all the engine or non-engine cards. Wow, that is kind of crazy. So it looks like Cody is also going to win this game because he just drew more engine cards. Uh, he's gonna set two, and then pass. Uh, Cody misclicked there. He meant to declare Abomination on the end phase. He's gonna hit the Storm Duster. Uh, that's a decent hit. I think Ice Dragons would have been the better hit, but not really that big of a deal. Uh, choosing not to use Scarlet in the end phase, kind of interesting. Uh, I guess there's not really any point to. Yeah, you can afford to wait, I suppose. Draws this copy of Skullmeister, so this is gonna just ensure that Walter never sees his Eldritch Engine. He's gonna go Battle Phase, attack over the Golden Lord. That's gonna deal up oh, nothing because of the Ice Dragon's Prism. Right, because this is a fiend, uh, he can't actually banish the uh, abomination. So it is kind of the thing is that like, even though this bypasses a restrictions, it does play into Ice Dragon's Prison because obviously everything's the same typing. So he's just gonna go ahead and banish the Lilla and the abomination, and then main phase two, we're gonna see a home that's going to pitch Skullmeister to summon out Kissikill. Kissikill can then summon the Lilla. Super super strong. He's also have like very minor like attack effects with light points, but I didn't even know about these until just now. I was reading over them. Uh, yeah, he's gonna link those away for a copy of Evil Twin Lilla. That's gonna go ahead and summon back the Kiss a Kill. Uh, it's kind of interesting because if if Walter chose to banish the uh, Kiss a Kill off of the Ice Dragons instead of the Lilla, then Cody would be forced to go for a Evil Twin uh, Kiss a Kill here. Which would like out the Golden Lore, but like that's not as important. Or well, not necessarily as important, but like drawing a card is super, super good at this stage. But he's gonna use that effect to draw. He's gonna draw another Walk Hero. Not amazing, but it's it's okay. It's not horrible. He's gonna use Walk Hero and then Oh, he's not gonna chain Scarlet. Uh, he just wants the body, I suppose. That's fair. He's gonna go then for a Nightmare Unicorn. This is also a fiend. Like it's crazy that these are just all fiends. Uh, he's going to go ahead and use Unicorn Effect. That's going to pitch the other walk arrow to shovel back Golden Lord. Oh, wait, yeah, no, he's under, um, wait, no, he's under Live Twin Home, so he can only summon an Evil Twins. Right, yeah, so he can't summon this. I forgot. I forgot that this restriction is not the same as the Link Monsters restrictions. Which, uh, is important to track, for sure. Yeah, so, going to rewind the game state here. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. This should be in defense, though, I think. It was in defense. Gonna go for another kiss a kill. Uh, so this can be summoned multiple multiple times as the effects are hard once per turns. But he's doing this so that he can use it on his opponent's turn, so he can like pop this if he needs to. Um, yeah, a little bit of a misstep, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh wait, did he? Oh no, he didn't use this yet. Right, he can just use it now. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, so he can use a kiss a kill to bring back the Lilla. Right, he used the uh, other way around to draw. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and set walk arrow and then pass for turn. He draws Dynamiscus and that's not gonna be good because um all he can do is like try and hope that Golden War resolves, but Cody has walk arrow, so it's just gonna be game. And he's just gonna admit defeat anyways, because uh even still that wasn't gonna be enough. So a very good showcase of Evil Twin with Eldritch. I really, really do like this deck. Um 
I contrary to what a lot of people think, I'm actually enjoying the fact that Eldritch can be played in so many things right now. And this is one of the cooler variants, I feel, just because like you have good normal summons and like the advantage generation is really, really cool. I enjoy this quite a lot. Like they also can eat hand traps, which is nice, so your other players can resolve, or like you can just wait. Um, you have a lot of good starters. I don't know, I think it's just really, really nice to see. But we didn't see any Buster Blader stuff, so we don't even know if Walter's on the Buster Blader stuff. Uh, it's possible that he could or could not be. I would incline to think that he is, but we didn't see it this match. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like as well as any thoughts or feedback in the comments. Subscribe for more competitive and LCS content. If you want to, you can follow me on all social media platforms or support me via Patreon or TCG Player. All the links are in the description, as always. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.